Hi there, I am Kristen Fouts. I'm the Director of Education and Leadership Development at ZBT International Headquarters. Uh, I am here today to provide you with a brief overview or walkthrough of our new Standards of Excellence portal, which can be accessed through My ZBT. What I will do is share the screen uh, in front of me and walk you through a few key functions of the new portal uh, so that you can learn to use it and ultimately submit uh, evidence or proof um, of your chapter completing various standards of excellence points uh, toward accreditation and chapter awards. So let me share my screen. All right, uh, what you see in front of you is um, a sample or example standards of, or um, uh, my ZBT dashboard. Uh, this particular one is Josh Rosemans. Josh is the chapter president at University of North Carolina, Charlotte. Um, so when you log into my ZBT, you should see a, a page that looks very similar to this, especially if you are a chapter officer. In order to access uh, the new SOE portal, you will need to click into your chapter button here in the upper right hand corner which will take you to another dashboard of very chapter specific um, operations. We will click into standards of excellence here. And then this takes us to your chapter specific landing page in the new standards of excellence portal. So uh, a few things to point out about this particular page. Um, there are three uh, boxes here um, towards the top. The first uh, indicates the total possible points that can be awarded through um, a comprehensive standards of excellence um, experience. The middle box uh, is how many points your chapter has been awarded to date. And then finally, the percentage of points that your chapter has received, um, the percentage of those total points. Also, it will show whether your chapter has reached a, uh, a specific um, accreditation uh, phase um, or status. So not accredited, accredited with watch, accredited, et cetera. Um, all of that information is right here and is updated um, in real time. So as you submit more SOE points um, and those are reviewed and points are awarded, this should change for you and your chapter. I'm going to scroll down and show you three other highlights on this page. Um, there are three tabs here. So one that is related to um, your specific chapter, one that is related to points that are assigned to your particular officer role, and then um, an overview um, that is similar to our former live tracker. So let me uh, go in a little bit more depth here. So this first tab that has your chapter designation um, is all of the points um, related to SOE. So they are organized by category. So brotherly love, um, intellectual awareness, integrity, social responsibility, and so on, um, including the headquarters tracked points. Um, you can click on each of these. Each of these is a hyperlink that takes you into um, another page where you would actually start submitting the information necessary for that point. It shows you a brief description uh, of the, the SOE point. It shows you who the submitting officer could be. Um, we, of course, don't require any particular officer to submit this information, but rather this is a recommendation um, for uh, who might be most appropriate on your executive board to submit that information. It also gives you a status. So not started, in process, or completed um, will be your three options here. You can filter or you can sort, excuse me, by status as well. If you really start um, getting into the group of submitting things um, and you just want to be able to, to sort by what hasn't been completed, et cetera, you can do that there. Finally, under points, you see number slash number. So for brotherly love point one, you only have to submit that once. And so if you submit it, it will show one of one. Um, uh, otherwise, for example, this um, BL.2, which re is related to your twice a year semi-annual brotherhood review vote, um, you do that twice a year, you submit it twice. Um, and so one of two would say that it would tell you that you have one more submission uh, to make. Uh, two of two, of course, means that you fully satisfied that particular point. So those are some highlights of this particular view. If you click on My SOE, uh, this uh, again um, sort of filters out anything that's related to your specific office or role. So again, this isn't required. Um, some chapters might not even use that tab if you you know only have operations submit everything, or if you have other officers or members of your chapter um, submitting points. This may or may not be relevant. Again, the ability to submit something is not dependent on an officer role. In fact all members of your chapter can see all of this information. So internally, um, you might have a conversation with your brothers about what they can see, what they can or should be doing so that you don't have people um, trying to submit information that either isn't accurate or isn't ready to be submitted. 
all chapter SOE um, is again, akin to that live tracker that we had um, in our previous process. Um, you can see chapter by chapter, um, what their point status is, what their accreditation status is. You can't submit anything on behalf of another chapter, um, but you can at least view this information. So again, very similar to, um, to the live tracker uh, that we had before. One other piece on this page to highlight is this drop down box. Uh, you can use this to view this overview page that we're looking at now, or you can filter to um, only one of the particular categories. So in this case, I clicked on intellectual awareness. This is everything related to intellectual awareness. You can also search um, here. There are a number of search functions, um, a number of sort of uh, narrowing criteria, and then of course the search term. So let's say, for example, I wanted to find um, anything related to uh, brotherhood. I would say um, contains the word brotherhood. Hit search, whoops, do this, excuse me. I'm in the wrong category. Let's go back to SOE overview and try that again. Okay, here are all of the points um, that relate to brotherhood. So you might want to filter by budget, uh, for example, as a keyword or risk management or risk pr uh, prevention, hazing, for example, or heritage, any number of keywords. Um, you can also um, sort by the points that you've earned. Um, again, what points still need to be submitted here. Feel free to use that search function um, however you want to. All right. So um, this process, again, is different than what we've completed or what we've utilized before. We appreciate your patience um, and your grace as we roll this out and we all get form more familiar with it. There are a few extra steps um, kind of that need to be completed in some cases for some SOE points um, to kind of set up a point to be submitted through our new process. So um, we are going to focus on chapter events, chapter forms, and community involvement in this case. So I'm going to click here on chapter events. This is where you would sort of first set up um, or create the foundation for a chapter event happening that then you can draw on for a certain SOE point related to that type of chapter event. So for example, let's click on record chapter event. Let's select under the uh, event category, let's select brotherhood. Event type, let's say a brotherhood retreat. Let's call it the ski trip. Uh, let's identify when it happened. Let's say January 6th. Might describe the program. So where was it? Um, what resort was it held at? Um, you know, generally how many people attended? What concepts or what, you know, what events, activities did you do? If you had a presentation at your retreat, you could upload those materials here, but generally that's not the case for this type of event. If you have pictures, um, as the little red star indicates, we do want a picture from that event. So you would choose that from, uh, from your device. Add in any additional comments to clarify the event or to you know, add a note from me, the reviewer, and then click submit. So that would automatically then, if I go back out to chapter events, if I had submitted it, I don't wanna mess up um, uh, A to Z's uh, um, uh, SOE status here, um, then I would click on chapter event history and that ski trip would show here um, as, an, as an event that happened and then later on in SOE, when we're submitting um, those brotherhood retreats or brotherhood building activities, that event will be there for me to be able to utilize, okay? So um, likewise, back in the main chapter events page here, um, again, you can look at your chapter events history. You can look at um, your chapter attendance summary. So who attended what events that your chapter um, held over the course of the year. And then you can also view your attendance history at those chapter events throughout the year. I wanna pause here and just kind of make a, a, um, a note about why we're using this particular platform or embedding it within our Salesforce database. One of the, the huge benefits that will come from the SOE process being part of um, our database is that all of the data that you are putting in and submitting through the SOE process will live in your chapter's records long-term they will live in your personal record long-term. And that's to gr that's a great benefit because um, if you are graduating, for example, and you want to be able to show a potential employer all of the leadership activities that your chapter did, we can pull that, or that you did, we can pull that information for you. Um, if you uh, want to be able to 
um, share with alumni all of the events that you've done in the past. You can share that. Um, you can access that in your MyZBT portal um, and access that information. You can track attendance, again, event to event, brotherhood events, et cetera. All of that will be saved long-term in our database. That was not the case before. The information only lived in Wufu, and it was very hard um, to export, to share, et cetera. So this is much more uh, beneficial for individual members as well as chapters long term and really for the fraternity too to be able to track um, you know what chapters are doing how many people are engaging etc let's move into chapter forms so likewise with events sometimes you'll have to set up an event in order to be to be able to use that as um, evidence or proof for an soe point submission later on the same is is true here for forms so um, there might be a case where you have to um, create a chapter form for something. But first, um, I want to highlight that a number of forms have already been created. So as you know and can see here, there are a number of SOE points that require some type of form to be uploaded. So for example, academic report. As you know, um, we want chapters to submit um, a copy of their academic form or report um, that shows that they had a chapter cumulative GPA of at least 2.7 for that particular term. So in this, in this case, I would click into academic report. I would click on submit academic report. I would um, upload the file, an Excel sheet, a PDF, whatever form you might've gotten it from, from your fraternity sorority life office, from the registrar, institutional research, whatever department it was that completes the reports or compiles the reports. You click on semester. A little bit of uh, clarifying information if needed, um, you know, that this, uh, you know, about the, the form that you've just uploaded, again, not required, but could be helpful. And then you have two options. And this is um, the case for every form, event, um, or SOE point. You have the option to either submit it for SOE review, you know it's right, you know it's ready to go, you click submit, or you can save it for later. That again was not the case with Wufu. So this I think is a great um, value add that let's say you upload that grade report and you automatically notice that there's something wrong. You need to reach out to your fraternity sorority life office, but you don't wanna you know, have to redo everything you've done. You can click save for later and it saves it as a draft that then you can come back to um, and resubmit after any corrections have been made, okay? So once I have all of this ready to go, I will click submit for SOE review and then click submit. Then when I come back to chapter forms, um, chapter form submissions, that form, that academic form will show up here as something that's been submitted, okay? So again, there may be cases where you have to um, uh, have to upload a form or create a form for a particular event or a particular process. But again, most of these forms, if not all of the forms that we require through SOE have already been created, okay? I now want to go to the community involvement tab. So community involvement um, focuses on any service hours you or your chapter has completed, as well as any fundraising or dollars raised um, that you have achieved or that your chapter has achieved. So that is um, chapter philanthropy, community service hours, um, uh, et cetera. So let's click on all chapter involvement forms and chapter community service. So um, we know that in social responsibility point five, it wants uh, chapters to complete a certain number of service hours. You get additional points um, if you, you know, have a certain number of hours per member. So I will uh, click on submit chapter community service. I will uh, upload a, um, a document here um, for, um, uh, again, a roster perhaps for a particular community service event, you do have the option within MyZBT already to track community service hours per member. So this says if your chapter has been utilizing MyZBT to already track service hours, you can ex export that information here for um, criteria to submit um, to uh, as evidence for this particular point. How many service hours did the chapter complete? Let's say 14. Again, additional comments. So where was it held, et cetera? Um, you know, what did you do, a description of the work, um, and then again, you can save or submit. Going back to the community involvement page, that would then um, be hell, or that would show up under campus and community involvement. What I want to highlight as well um, are some unique features under community service 
um, and under um, chapter philanthropy. So if I want to add community service hours, so for example, um, we went to Habitat for Humanity, um, six of us from the chapter went to Habitat for Humanity. Um, I will type that in here. The um, hung drywall, okay? So um, I will uh, click on either add undergrads or add new initiates. Um, it depends on, again, how they're classified in your system, or you can add members individually. So if I click on this, it's going to pull my entire chapter roster as it's reported in Salesforce, um, the entire list. Now I can go through here and say, nope, Addison wasn't there, Amon, Alex, Andrew, they weren't there. Um, or I can deselect all and only select the six that were there, okay? I can also just type in members' names individually just to quickly pull up those six if if one or the other process seems to be too much. Now here, again, we, um, you know, we were at Habitat for Humanity. Um, let's say that Adam put in two hours. Let's say Alexander put in three hours. Let's say Andrew did two and a half hours, okay? So there I have my roster. Um, again, I said six, I would add a couple more. Um, and then I would click submit. Okay, a different way that we can do it. This example that I just gave you is maybe if we were there for different periods of time, right? If we all went at the same time and we all did three hours, I would type in three here and hit this little recycle button and it would automatically add the same number of hours for each participant. So if we went from, you know, one to four in the afternoon, we all showed up and, and you know, left at the same time, that's an easy peasy way um, to add that information. And then again, I would click submit way down here at the bottom and that, um, that, roster um, and those number of hours would be reported, okay? We go back out to the community involvement main page. The exact same thing can be done for philanthropy. So I'm going to add chapter fundraising. Uh, you can select either chapter level fundraising, let's say you um, raise $10,000 for Dance Marathon or member fundraising. You had, um, you know, an expectation that, you know, certain brothers raise, you know, $100 um, for a particular charity. Um, you would put either of those two pieces of information in, um, in either of those boxes. So again, date the donation was sent, brief description of the donation, where it went to, why you did it, and then adding the members um, and adding their amounts um, the same way. So again, I can say that he donated $25, uh, he donated $100, et cetera, or if everyone donated $25, I would click that little recycle button and it auto-populates $25 for every member, okay? I scroll down, I click submit, and it submits that information. All right, so again, all of that information then will show in, um, in your campus and community involvement. All right. So going back to the standards of excellence main page, again, I can see what I've submitted, what I haven't submitted. Um, I'm going to click into one of these just to give you um, a little bit more information. So um, when you click into any particular um, point uh, for sort of the overview here, it obviously gives you a description of each event. Um, it gives you the form that will need to be submitted as a part of this event or a part of this point. It will give you the status here. And then if, let's say um, the constitution or the bylaws that you upload for this point have a date on them from 2020, we would love to see your bylaws reviewed and updated every year, right? So um, I need the bylaws to be for the current year. If I see that they're from 2020, I will on the back end click that the point needs to be re-reviewed and or edited, edited, excuse me, you will see a box pop up here with some feedback. So with any note that I leave um, about that submission, that will show up um, on this page. So you will notice that that piece has not, is still listed in process, it hasn't been completed, and you will see that there is a note that you then can take advantage of to make the edit, resubmit it, and get the point, okay? That type of feedback was not possible in WUFU. I would have to text you or call you or send you an email which could you know, delay or just further complicate things. Now it's all going to be within my ZBT um, for easy access and easy response. So I think those are all of the features that I wanted to go over today. As always, you can feel free to reach out to me via call, uh, via, you know, via phone. 
Um, my number is 317-650-7743. You can email me at kfouts, that's F-O-U-T-S, at zbtnational.org. You can also feel free to text me if you want to. Um, again, we appreciate your patience. We appreciate um, your calmness, um, your frequent and open communication as we all kind of figure this out and work through it. There will be snags, um, but we will get through it. Um, there's still plenty of time to, uh, to submit for review, et cetera. So one last note on that particular piece before, uh, before I'm done. The doing timeline for SOE, as I put it, the timeline through which your chapter can do any of these programs, events, activities, et cetera, related to SOE points is January 1st through December 31st. It's a calendar year um, doing timeline. The submission timeline, meaning the time frame that you can submit that evidence uh, really was uh, this week once the portal opened until uh, January 31st of the next year, okay? So the doing timeline is a calendar year. The submitting timeline is a little bit a little bit off from that, okay? If you have questions, please just let me know, all right? We appreciate your time, we appreciate your attentions, and we appreciate, uh, we appreciate your patience. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody.